All right, we have to multiply these two polynomials together. Notice that we have three terms in this polynomial and three terms for this polynomial. So what we're going to do to organize ourselves is we're going to make a three by three grid or matrix to keep our products organized. Now, let's say you were multiplying three terms by two terms, you would make a three by two grid and so forth. So let us take our first polynomial and above each one of these three boxes, we're going to write these three terms. So we have negative 2y to the third power, negative 6y squared, and positive 12. And for these three boxes, we're going to write 5y squared, negative 10y, and negative 10. All right, so for this box, we're going to multiply these two terms together. So negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. And y cubed times y squared is y to the fifth. Remember, when multiplying like bases, we add the exponents. All right, for this box, we're going to find the product of negative 6y squared and 5y squared, which would be negative 30y to the fourth power. The product of 5y squared and 12 would be 60y squared. All right, for this box, we have to multiply negative 10y and negative 2y cubed, which would give us positive 20y to the fourth power. The product of negative 6y squared and negative 10y is positive 60y to the third power. And the product of negative 10y and 12 is negative 120y. All right, now we have to multiply this by negative 10. That would be positive 20 y to the third, and the product of negative 10 and negative 6y squared is positive 60y squared. And our last product is negative 120. All right, now notice we only have one term with y to the fifth power, so we cannot combine that with any of the others, so we're just going to bring that down. Negative 10y to the fifth. We have two y to the fourth power terms, so we're going to add the coefficients together. That would give us negative 10 y to the fourth. We have two y cubed terms, so we add those two coefficients. 20 and 60 is 80 y cubed. We have two y squared terms. We add 60 and 60, that is 120 y squared. We only have one term with y to the first power, so we just slide that down, minus 120 y, and we have one constant, which is negative 120 or minus 120. And this is as far as we can take it because none of these terms can be combined.